So we've done a handful of videos on the Unify NVR, the software, and the cameras, and we're really happy with the system. It's a great deployment. It's got a wonderful user interface. But some people ask, like, how can I get it really simply? Like, I don't want to go through trouble building a machine or doing all this. I just want, you know, a handful of cameras, maybe at my house or even a small office, actually, where this is going, which is for camera system. And this is a nice, compact small solution, easy to deploy, turnkey from Unify. So this is your uh, UVC NVR to TB for two terabytes. They recommend this for deployments that aren't going to expand past 20 cameras. Well, this is going in a four camera setup in kind of a small lobby of a pizza place. So it's your same Unify video software, supports the same Unify cameras that you're used to. So your uh, Unify line of cameras with the Unify software and everything else is supported. The only thing you need is this and the cameras. That's it. There's no other accessories, no licenses to buy or anything else. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it real quick and show you what you get in the box. So we're gonna uh, slide the little sleeve off of here. Sorry, we've actually unboxed it once because they had to set it up and then before I had time to do a video on it. So it's actually already been configured, uh, but we'll still go through it. The box has this nice kind of felt uh, spongy, okay, a sponge, uh, to keep it really nice and tight in here because it ships with the hard drive installed, turnkey, you get your get started guide. Get the unit itself, which once again, really nice packaging on this. It's There's some time and care uh, into the device. Now we're gonna cover the porch really quick on the device. We got a Kensington lock hole uh, right here. So we're good on that. Then we have a few ports on it. And you're probably going, hey, look, it's got HDMI and VGA. Does that mean I can just go through and watch my cameras on this? Sorry, that's not how these devices work. These devices aren't made for viewing the cameras on the device. You're probably seeing a lot of NVRs uh, by other brands that are designed that way. You need a separate computer to view this. This is an important thing if you're trying to figure these out and what to buy. You don't plug this VGA or HDMI into a monitor and just have a display. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. But we do have the RJ45 here. It's not wireless. It does have a standard hard line because that's how it's going to communicate with the cameras and the network, all on one port. It doesn't have a separate network on here. We've got four USB 2s. And on the other side, we got a power button, a sleep button, two USB 3.0s. Now, if you're going to use more storage for this or an external storage device in place of the two terabytes it came with, not including two, then you would use these USB 3s because you would plug in a USB 3 device. But it's really not what this was designed for. Uh, it also has a SD slot over here, MMC slot, and it has a uh, microphone and headset. But once again, these are probably just because Unify spec this out. I'm going to guess from Foxconn because we've seen a similar Foxconn microcomputer that they sell uh, that looks similar to this, but they're not using these extra ports around here. Uh, the device itself is a nice, like, piano gloss black, quite nice. Uh, I don't want to put my fingers on it, so we're going to leave all the plastic, but it's got a wonderful finish on it, so this thing's really sleek looking. Uh, in the box, we have a little plastic stand because this does have a small, very quiet fan in here. So we set it like this, and this is how the unit would present itself when you're having it on here with the ports on the back for the network, and then you can see the power light in the front. So pretty small, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and you maybe, you know, if you're using just a couple cameras with a couple of the power bricks, you might keep them all really close together or maybe on a shelf in the back room. Uh, once again, because you're not viewing the cameras on this, you're gonna view the cameras on the phone app or you're gonna view it from another computer, you don't really need to uh, have this anywhere that's really accessible. The other things in the box are, of course, the power cord. And uh, one thing I'll say for the power cord that they put in this, the power cord is quite long. So this is the power cord and the standard power brick. And it's about six feet, a little outside the range of the, how wide I have the lens set to the camera. We got about six feet of cable here. And then another six feet here, they give you the standard power connector. I refer to them frequently as the Mickey Mouse adapter because you know, it looks like Mickey. Hopefully it doesn't cause a copyright strike. <laughs> uh, and this, I got it folded half, is about six foot as well. So we have about six foot here. So you you have almost 12 feet here of cabling, which is pretty impressive for uh, a power cord. So if it's on a top shelf, this is going to be pretty easy to do. Now I'm gonna plug it in real quick. Um, the Unify software is the same on this as it is on the standard one you download. There's not really any difference. They're running uh, a customized uh, Linux here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the screen just so you can see the output of it. Um, but other than that, it's not a lot else to talk about this as a device. Everything else from 
outside of the physical aspects of this device are the same as they are for any Unify NVR if you haven't used one. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you the cameras uh, mounted to it and set up with it and um, that. So let me move this over, we'll plug it in real quick and I'm gonna show you what shows up on the screen. All right, we have the Unify plugged in, got a trusty monitor plugged in here, just gonna hit the power button so it comes on. And it's running, you can see it booting. And by the way, it's super quiet here. It's, if you can even hear it, I can feel the fan, but I really can't quite pick up on hearing it. Runs through the boot process. And it does boot up relatively fast here. And at it's it's ready, and it's got the IP address that we should log into. So let's log an IP address, and we'll show you the specs on the machine real quick and how it works. So when you go to the IP address of the device, this is the 192.168.3.72, like we've seen on the screen here. You're presented with this window. Now, click to log in, redirects you to the same IP address, colon 7443, which is your default login port for your Unify camera system. And like I said, we already have it set up and working. It works perfectly fine. Whoops. Let me refresh the page because I reset it. There we go. The cameras are actually just sitting on the table right now, so there's not much to really look at. Actually, this one looks like it's looking out front through our uh, windows. And there. I don't know what that one's looking at. But as you can see, it's fairly fast. No real issues here with these uh, four cameras that we have. Something about the Unify system, in case you're wondering, because you see six cameras here. These are the cameras managed on our system because we put them on the same network. Uh, it does notice them, but like it says here, managed by other. So we're gonna go ahead and here, and we're gonna set these to uh, record motion high res, save. If you haven't done that before, that's uh, by default, they aren't set to record. I've had people say, hey, I missed a bunch of stuff. I'm like, yeah, out of the box, so as you join cameras, the default option is just join them, but not necessarily record. So look here at the live view. There's our four cameras, nothing too exciting here. Uh, they're recording and working. Now I go over here to settings. Same as any of your other Unify camera, but it has the picture because it realizes it's the NVR itself. Um, it's going in Carl's Pizza, so we've already named it Carl's Pizza, but everything else is pretty much the same here. A couple things I did notice is when you're on this page, you may have noticed up here is a little gear icon where you can configure the device itself. Please do that or anyone else will do it for you eventually. And I say that because if this is on a network where other people can log in, the default password is root and UBNT. We have changed it as part of the security procedure here. So we're gonna go log into it with the password we created. And it shows you the percent use, percent free. This is giving you the device statistics. Uh, configuration for the device, it does default to DHCP and has a fallback IP address of 192.168.1.30. Um, and by default, SSH was enabled and I turned it on. I wanted to be able to SSH into it if I wanted to because that's often how remote manages if there's ever a problem. But here's where you can reboot, power off, change password, or just do a factory default reset on it. So there's really not a lot of options in here. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I went ahead and I'm gonna do this over another terminal and bring it over. So here is that the Unify NVR itself. See the IP address. I thought it was cool because they do have HTOP included in it. So it's just pretty straightforward. It's got four gigs of RAM in it. It's a, uh, go back to proc here. Uh, Intel Celeron J1800 CPU at 2.41 gigahertz. So nothing earth shattering about this. But I do like that they let you get into the back end of it. So if you wanted to do something custom with this box, like adding hard drives, actually that's how the work instruction works. If you want to add a hard drive externally to this is you're going to set it up and mount it here in Linux because it's all a Linux uh, based system. And uh, what is it running on? Yeah, it's all custom Linux, Unify video systems. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's 
works well. If you're looking, like I said, this is kind of a short review because it's just a simple solution for people who don't want to build their own MVRs. Uh, if you don't want to go through trouble, you're looking for something, like I said, turnkey, get this, buy a couple cameras, plug them in, and away you go, and then connect it to your uh, Unify account. I do recommend doing that because that saves you all the port forwarding headaches. You can either A, open up ports and mess with the firewall, or B, use the Ubiquity account, and it works seamlessly with that. That uh, makes it a lot easier. You just sign up for a free Ubiquity account that doesn't cost anything. And all it does is proxy the connection to, uh, one, get rid of the security error, two, does all the port forwarding automatically for you via the proxy connection through the uh, Unify system. But yeah, it seems to work perfectly fine. It's a good little box. I, you know, if you have a, a small MVR solution that you're looking for, like I said, you can see how fast this is. There's no, for a small, you know, four, they say up to 20. I, it feels like 20 might be pushing a little bit, but that's what they claim. Uh, but if you're just building a small home system, this is a great buy for that. It's not that expensive and uh, it, well made. A nice little small compact unified turnkey system. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.